Welcome to the Scott Barnes Pro Series. We're gonna talk about placement. Very important, not just product, but placement. Where to put blush? Do you put it in the front? Do you put it in the back? Do you put it in the back of the car? Do you put it in the trunk? Where do you put it? I'm gonna teach you, okay? So here we go. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of blushy. We're gonna go into the apples of the cheeks. What are the apples of the cheeks? Smile for me and I'll tell you. Those are apples right there. That's an apple, just in case. I'm gonna do makeup 101, just in case people don't know. People are like, what are the apples? Some people have more of a watermelon. Me? You have a watermelon head? <laughs> hey, watermelon head! <laughs> I'm gonna go in for a little bit of blush. Sheesh. Right there in the corners. Now, I'm using Mango Fizz and Rose together. And I'm exaggerating a bit so you guys can see it real well. And you're just gonna just work around. So I like to work in a C-shape motion. So it's a little bit like this. I actually just very gently just bring it around to the temple. See how the hair, everything's moving in this upward direction. So the blush should go in there too. So when you see the face from the side, it's got a beautiful line to it, right? Sometimes when I work with blush, I always like to kind of bring it in a bit. It's very youthful to bring it into the apples of the cheek. You know, this brush that I did was really designed for this purpose so that you can use the point of it and then flatten it a little bit too. So it's to me the most perfect blush brush. I also use it for powder. Apples, apples, apples and oranges. <laughs> We're gonna talk about highlighters now. What I like to do is add and paint with light more so than painting with the contouring, which is the darker stuff. So contouring gives us support, but the fun starts coming with the highlighting. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go down the middle of the nose. I'm using a little bit of everything here. It's not any one particular color. That's why I offered all of them, putting them into the brow bone and into the cheekbone. So you can really see, like we can layer this in and it looks phenomenal. Except for the fact that I got it all over your chin. <laughs> and I'm just wrapping this right into the brow bone. So say you wanted to just turn this up and make it really kind of bronzy, you can go over the whole thing with a little bit of bronzerella. And that just heats the whole thing up. And I'm using just a large brush. It's like, it's okay to use a large brush. Not because you need to cover more area, it's just because it's a little bit of a softer effect. You know what I love too sometimes is, I don't know if you do this, Liv, but I'll grab highlighter and just put it on the lips like this. I learned that from you. Oh, it's pretty. This is just highlighters. A little toasty. <laughs> it's just... 